Welcome! This is Will at Work. I'm Kevin. This is where we test my various game consoles and we see if they work. That's not really a retrospective or anything, it's basically just what it says. Uh, I've got possibly one of the largest, if not the largest, game console collection in the world owned by a private collector. You know, something like a museum has a lot more resources may have more systems than me. Um, I have not met anyone that does, uh, online or off, um, and uh, I have seen people that claim online that they have many, many systems, but uh, you know, you have to actually show them and <laughs> prove that you have them, basically, and that's kind of what this series is, as well as it's proving that they actually work and they're not just, you know, empty shells and that sort of thing. Uh, but it, at the end of the day, it's not really a contest. It's more or less I'm just um, a collector of these things. And I um, figure people are kind of interested and want to see what some of them are. And today we have the Game Pocket Computer by Epoch. I don't know too much about this uh, system. I mean, it, I believe it came out in Japan. Uh, it takes cartridges. It was probably some sort of Game Boy competitor, I guess. Um, it, I don't know if it preceded the Game Boy. It seems like it would have, only because it's the way it's it's all big and ridiculous and everything. Um, it has a graphic of 75 by 64 dots, which isn't a great resolution, although it's a lot better than the Microvision. Uh, it has sound. It has a D-pad, which means that you know this is. D-pad's pretty um, later when it comes to these things, and it has four buttons. Um, it does come with a built-in game, as I don't have any cartridges for it. LCD, it's like an advertisement. LCD dot matrix system. Ooh. Give Epoch some credit though, they you know, were around in the very early days with the cassette vision and super cassette vision as well as a series of um, handheld games and pongs and that kind of thing. Uh, so they uh, definitely had their roots in gaming. Alright, so let's see if there's a... Is this just like a drawing thing or something? I guess you can draw. Okay. <laughs> is this like a erase button? Yeah. And there's a puzzle. <laughs> I guess you just smooth things around to get them in order. Thrilling shit. Anyway. So yeah, just the puzzle game. So that's not very exciting, but I mean it did they did sell games for this. Um, I just don't have any for it. But you can see that it does work and everything's fine with it. Uh, if I ever do run across some games for it, though, I'll probably pick them up if they're not crazy expensive. Uh, you know, so it was an early day little system. It's, you know, it's a little bit big, but it's not heavy. It took four double A's. It wasn't obtrusive. The screen's easy to see. Uh, so, you know, it, um, it's a shame it, it probably would have done better, you know, but if it came out, you know, around the time of the Game Boy, Game Boy probably would have crushed it. If it came out earlier than that, I'd be surprised it didn't sell well. Maybe it was too expensive or something. It's hard to say. Uh, Game Pocket Computer. It's one of the last systems, uh, handheld, um, that I own. Um, there's a there's a couple more out there that I know of that are old. Uh, there's always lots of newer ones. We'll probably look at some newer ones uh, here shortly in the series. I always try to purchase a little bit um, systems that are a little noteworthy in their design and such as we've looked at in the past. Um, and 
and as well as um, there's at least one, uh, no two uh, systems I have on pre-order that are not yet released, but they are handheld systems. You may know of at least one of them, or maybe maybe you know both. Uh, but either way, uh, yep. Thanks for watching. Epoch Game Pocket Computer. We'll have another video tomorrow. See ya.